Munchkins frequently procreate in the missionary position, which is not what, what most cats normally do. But what unsettles some cat lovers is not how they procreate, but the end result. Munchkins often have mixed litters of short and long-legged kittens. Might this bring on a kitty complex? I think if a munchkin lived with a regular cat and saw this regular cat jumping around and doing all kinds of tricks, that the munchkin might feel a little deprived. This is coming from a therapist. I, I'd like to see her credentials. It may manifest itself in not using the litter box. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Anorexic nervosa? Overeating? Um, well, I had one munchkin that recently started smoking, but that was about my only problem with the cats. I think munchkins know they're different, yes. What was she, a munchkin in a previous life or something? I mean... So wither the munchkin controversy at the dawn of the new year. Catherine Crawford has judged her last show for the International Cat Association. Paul McSorley battles on in the munchkin's defense. And Patty Andrews? She's chosen not to run for re-election to the board. If 10 years from now there are 10,000 munchkins and all of them are perfectly healthy, then I will throw a dinner for all the people that I have been opposing and apologize to them profusely. Could I pick the restaurant? I'd like to see it in writing. The controversy continues. Cat lovers everywhere, stay tuned. If they encounter any medical problems in their cats, munchkin lovers promise they'll stop breeding them. Catherine Crawford promises to keep them to their word.